guys, welcome back. So, I mean, since DEF CON, I have a lot of stuff, and I have a lot of partnerships I need to get to. But some people just kept asking for a Porter Pack video, and, you know, I love my Porter Pack, specifically the H4M. I use this guy so much. I don't know anymore if he's my favorite, but when it comes to radio, FM, that type of stuff, signals, RF, this guy's the king about it. So, I think we need, it's time for an update video on the H4M Porta Pack. Now, I mean, I do have some other planned videos. So, on Monday, we will be taking a look at the Panda Edge by Carbon Computers. And on Friday, we have a super cool video. Maybe three times a week. I'm trying to find that balance in between here. But, because I started high school, oh my gosh, guys, hours of homework each night. So, I'm filming this pretty late. But, I mean, we've got our Porta Pack, so... I just updated this guy, and I already have seen some new features on here, so what better way than to test them out? Now, we have two porta packs here, and this is really going to make your biggest difference is to flash mayhem on here. This is your porta pack without mayhem. You're going to notice it's missing a lot of the hacking features. You can go into receive. That's sad. It has like nothing. Go into transmit. Or even less. When you have mayhem on here, though, you get a lot more options for hacking, and... Transceive is my favorite part, but we do have some more options here in Transceive now, and I mean, we have some other newer things, like walkie talkies on the Porta Pack. Now this is actually super cool. I don't know how good the range is, but I mean, obviously it depends on your antenna. Now one of the things I got for my Porta Pack is one of these guys. Now this is a power amplifier because here's the thing with the Porta Pack: if you have your a big antenna on here. It's still going to transmit low frequency, low power. It doesn't matter how big antenna you add. So you use one of these guys, transfer that power into high power. You could transmit like crazy. You could JAM so far. So let's go over some of these new features we've been missing out on now that we've covered the basics. Now, when it comes to receive, we have three new things down here. And you're like, three? Only three? Guys, these are some pretty cool apps. So the first one we're looking at is ERT meter. So this is for picking up ERTs and coder receiver transmitters. So basically, gas, water, electricity, meters in the U.S., the broadcast short RF packets. So when you use something like this, you can actually drive by and log these, and then you could decode them, all the stuff. So actually very cool. You pick your frequencies, your ID, your consumption, and you get all of the information actually on it. Super neat, actually. Now we have detector. Now, this one looks crazy. You have, like, all this stuff going on, but this is... A spectrum monitor, I guess. I mean, this is a spectrum analyzer right here, the tiny SA. But, I mean, it is kind of a difference. It scans ranges of frequencies. This scans in a much smaller range than the tiny SA would. So this guy is amazing for if you want to do all that stuff with capturing signals or just monitoring everything at once. But this is kind of a smaller version. And my personal favorite out of these three is this one with a satellite on it. So this lets you receive and decode picture transmissions. From weather satellites, okay. So when you have, it's called an NOAA satellite. So when it passes overhead, and it's usually on, let's see, 137. No way I catch one right now. But on a 137 millihertz band, that's when you're actually going to see them, because that's when they transmit. But it sends on weather information and images, and you're actually able to find those if you have them tuned to the right thing, and once flying overhead, and get real-time weather images. Now, that is actually pretty cool and pretty dope. Now we have some other stuff in here like transmit. I haven't seen many updates in here, like at all. Just add because that's my favorite part of the porta pack. But we have transceiver. Now with transceiver, you have your mic. Okay. Now look at this. See, it tells you like how loud you're being. But I mean all this stuff. You could have the different things enabled. Or X audio if you want to hear your own mic. But you basically just set this to the same frequency as somebody else right now. It's on 145. And that is a good place to be. We could change our gain probably way more down than this is right now. But it has the audio jack down here if you don't want everybody in the world hearing you. But actually super useful. I feel like this thing just keeps getting more features. And it does have a really good actual speaker in here. I mean, I'm always hearing it. I mean, it's that big thing right there. It takes up a huge portion of this. Now, Rabbit Labs is currently making a custom porta pack Their own PCBs, purple... And I think we're trying to get one in my hands, which would be so tough. Like I said, I have to I have a bunch of videos to make. I partnered up with Rabbit Labs. 
we got a pretty cool device to check out. But, I mean, that's kind of it for port pack I know it's been a few months, but obviously the people behind this have been doing a lot. We have Recon. This is actually a super useful menu option. Not new, though. Oh, actually, the only other new thing would be the games. Space Invaders, Battleship, Pac-Man, Blackjack. Anyway, not much with the port pack so far. I would want to make this video a little later in the future. This thing's always getting updates. It gets nightly releases, which fix the bugs and everything like that. But nothing too interesting so far. Like I said, the weather, satellite images, that is actually super cool. That is it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Like I said, we have a bunch of new stuff to look at over here, and I'm pretty excited. So stay tuned. Videos every Monday and Friday, probably around 5. 6.30 ish standard amount of time that is it for this video make sure to like it and i'll see you guys next time go join my discord ages 13 to 17 we do a lot of fun stuff there